We do want to bring in NBC News contributor Frank Figluzzi. He is the former assistant director for counterintelligence at the FBI. And his new book, The FBI Way, Inside the Bureau's Code of Excellence, is out next week. Frank, good morning. Thank you for being here on a busy news day. Let's start with these really perplexing set of facts. You have that RV that blared out a warning that some type of an explosion was coming. It happened on Christmas Day, so not a whole lot of people around. What does this tell you about the motive? We also know that that RV was parked near the AT&T building. Yeah, look, look, as much as we're talking about what we don't know this morning, there's an awful lot that we do know. And that crime scene and that choice of timing and, and the building it may have been parked in front of tell us volumes, perhaps, about who this person is or what his or her intentions might be. So the choice of 6.30 a.m. Christmas morning is a deliberate choice that tells us that we know the, the, the roads won't be crowded with pedestrians or car traffic. So the intention seems not to be aimed at killing people, but rather perhaps sending a message to the office or office buildings in that area. Secondly, we see a desire to draw the police in through this call for suspicious gunfire, which, by the way, might be part of the recording. The sounds that we're hearing uh, from witnesses that they heard of gunshots might even be a recorded message, just like the warning to evacuate. But nevertheless, it brings police in. So there's a decision here being made to not hurt people right away. Now, here's what we don't know, Kristen. We don't know if that means that this is over, that his target has been achieved, and that he's 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 satisfied with what's happened, or whether this is a warning. I can play with the police. I can bring you here. I can choose on at my time and place to hurt or not hurt. And that would mean there's more coming. And, and Frank, it was announced pretty quickly that the FBI would be leading this investigation. Is that an indication that this was an act of terrorism? We should not draw any conclusions from this other than the fact that after the 9-11 attacks, it's now presumed that something of this size and scope and this magnitude of damage will be terrorism unless it can be disproven. That's a reverse of the attitude that took place before 9-11. So don't read anything particularly into this, that there's an international or domestic group tied to this, but rather that we're likely to see federal charges. And I would assume that the U.S. Attorney's Office there is would be thinking seriously of a weapons of mass destruction charge because of the magnitude of damage done here. And Frank, we know that investigators are examining tissue that was found at the scene. Where does the investigation go from here? And you mentioned the fact that the suspect hasn't been caught yet. Yeah, this is what the FBI does best because it's going to surge its laboratory and evidence crime scene technicians from all over the country into this. And that tissue will be uh, found to be either human or not. Um, and they'll draw as much as they can from it, including possible DNA that could possibly be a, a match in a DNA laboratory. So that's an incredible lead. Um, it might even be the subject's uh, tissue, which means he uh, committed suicide or was destroyed in the bombing. But th there's a massive amount of work to be done here because because of the AT&T presence, I would start uh, with a team going through all complaint calls, all of the letters and chronic complainers to that particular office and location of that company, because that could tie us to a motive. But again, motive isn't really going to drive this investigation. It's the hard physical evidence, uh, security cameras, CCTV, eyewitnesses, et cetera, that's going to solve this case. Yeah, the hard work will be getting underway today. All right, Frank Figaluzzi, thank you so much for the great information. Appreciate it.